Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm about to bring you guys the top 5.5 stocks that you need to buy for the 2022 rebound. Now, the stock market has been pulling back the last couple of weeks. A lot of major companies have been seeing a decline in the value of their stocks, and that is where we come in and scoop up some shares at a great value. That is us calling buying stocks on sale. If you're willing to buy a share of Nike at $100, and it's the same company that pulls back down down to $75, why not buy that company? Just because the price is pulled back does not mean that it's a bad company now. Does mean that this stock is just on sale. Now there are three things that you guys need to worry about. Did the stock pull back just because the stock market is having a correction and pulling back at the time? Did the stock pull back because of bad news that came out recently about the company? Or did the stock pull back because something fundamentally has changed about that company? Now the first two things is nothing to worry about. If the stock market is having a pullback, that is awesome. That is us able to get some great companies like Apple on sale. So if you're just starting off by investing into stocks, then you're getting in at a great deal. And if you're already been investing, this is a great time to dollar cost average your position down inside of your portfolio so that you could recover even quicker when the rebound happens. The second way is bad news. Now, when bad news come out about a company, that is that is great news to investors. That usually means the stock price is gonna overreact and drop below a fair value that that stock should be trading at. And that's where we come in and we buy a couple of shares shares why the stock is very cheap when it's reacting to bad news now in the third way if a stock has fundamentally changed about that company let's just say this company no longer does this or, or they just fired a ceo they just fired they just changed management and you really don't like the management that they changed if something fundamentally changed about that company then that company might not ever recover and it's a reason that it is pulling back is because no one believes inside this company any, anymore if a company had dividends for years and then all of a sudden they cut their dividends that is a red flag guys and, and those are companies that you need to watch out for just because a company is pulling back don't mean oh i need to go in and buy some on sale you need to know exactly why this company is pulling back and make sure that nothing fundamentally has changed about that company before you go in and scoop up some shares so in this video i'm going to bring you guys my top 5.5 stocks that i'm going to invest into to get ready for the 2022 rebound but before we dive into the video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money. You could deposit one penny if you want to, and you'll receive two free stocks valued up to $2,600 with those two free stocks. You could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, I left a link to Coinbase down in the description. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Sign up and I think you get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin once you deposit. And the last link is to Moomoo. Move. Sign up and deposit $100 and you can receive five free stocks valued up to $17,000. Once again, you could keep them inside the platform or you can sell those five free stocks. It's free money, guys. Take full advantage of those opportunities. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on stock number one. This is Apple. We're going to be looking at the one day chart guys um, just so that we could get a full scope of these stocks. Now Apple has been pulling back over the last couple of weeks and as you guys know, you guys already know what Apple is. Nothing fundamentally has changed about Apple. It is just having a market correction. Um, Apple has been overpriced for a while now and it's just starting to pull back. Now, one of the reasons I believe Apple will eventually recover all the way back up to this all time high of around one hundred and eighty two dollars and ninety eight cents is because Apple, they don't play any games every year. They do um, share buybacks. That means they go back into the market and buy back shares of their companies just so that the shares that are out there can become more valuable over time. They acquire different acquisitions. They, that means they buy out at least 10 different companies every single year. Um, that's what Apple do. So they're acquiring different technologies and buying out their competition. So Apple is a major um, big dog when it comes to the stock market. Right now, a quick technical analysis over Apple. Um, we did this inside of the Discord over on the Patreon. Apple has pulled back. It bought, it pulled right past our buy zone that we had set at around $167 and $166. It pulled right past that, and we eventually see Apple pulling back to its next support line of around $156.84. Um, Apple's earnings is coming out on January 20. 
27th so coming up fairly soon guys um it could react good or negative to the earnings that is coming out so apple could come here if it breaks below this support line then i can see it pulling all the way back to the green 200 ema line right there but overall apple is still in the uptrend as you guys can see it is clearly in the uptrend um the green line shows where apple is in the uptrend and we draw out the support and resistance lines all the time for apple so right now if you was to get into apple um right now you could get you could buy in at 162 dollars and ride it all the way back up to its all-time high i believe one day it might not be this month it might not be next month it might not be in the next six months but but sometime in the next year or so apple will reach an all-time high and that is a profit of 12 percent remember in a given year the average stock generates around six percent growth over a single year um looking at historical data so 12.5 percent growth is awesome but since we do see apple still pulling back if we was to draw out and wait for apple to come all the way back to the support line that we drew of 156 dollars and it reaches an all-time high again and that is a profit of around 16.76%, which is awesome, guys. So the first stock I'm going to give you guys is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. If you guys want to be a part of me posting technical analysis, I post technical analysis all the time over in the Discord. If you want to join the Discord, click the link down in the comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Over there, I post every single time I buy and sell stocks. I post technical analysis, swing trades, option trades and we have other pro traders in there that post day trades every single day and it's a great community of traders on there if you want a whole bunch of knowledge all in one place then sign up by clicking the link down in the comment section that'll take you to my patreon the patreon to take you to my discord come be a part of a great community guys so let's go ahead and head over to stock number two the second company is going to be ticker symbol sq block all right so here we are on block uh, once again we have drawn this out already over in the discord they have an earnings report coming up as well sometime in march but yeah we seen that block has been pulling back for a while now it is staying true to this downtrend line once it breaks this downtrend line oh yeah one more time over on apple a a p l don't get in too quick guys so we look at the one day macd line is still showing red so we do got some time to wait to a confirmation that apple is going to try to reverse into trend back up so you don't want to get in too early because it could still pull back so you you kind of want to wait until you see some confirmations before you try to hop into a swing trade and trade it back up so let's hop back over back to square there we go all right so square we drew out this downtrend line it has not broke this downtrend line this is stock number two i don't know why i keep staying square because it's sq but it's blocked sq is blocked guys so it's in this downtrend nothing really has changed about block in fact uh, if you guys don't know what square is square, square is the card reader the chips to where you can swipe your card to it and you pay inside local businesses restaurants small businesses and now you can even play online with square so they have um square online square online checkout square invoices virtual um terminal square team management so you guys have used square before um it's the little square with the little square inside of it where you tap you pay for local business you pay for local businesses so, uh, so a lot of small businesses are using these and a lot of small businesses are popping up and this company has been doing extremely well over the last couple of years so we go back to square it has been pulling back and if we set a buy zone i would set a buy zone somewhere in this area right here so square can still pull back well block can still pull back to this buy zone right here once it breaks above this downtrend line then we can look at support and resistance lines and take a look at the macd the rsi is looking good and then we could try to play the earnings report once again i do believe that one day maybe in the next year maybe two years that square will be back at an all-time high over the next two years and that is a trade of around 150 42 percent guys so if you're a believer of this company thinking that they would get back there in the next two to three or four years that is a good swing trade of 142 percent remember a great year in the stock market is a growth of six percent and you will make 142 percent over the next two three or four years if you believe that square will eventually recover uh, right now i really believe in square because of their ceo yeah i really believe in that ceo jack dorsey of 
he's worth seven billion dollars in fact he's the creator and ceo of twitter he stepped down from being the ceo of twitter to go full-time with block um tickle symbol sq so twitter is the largest social media platform in the world he took a step down from there to just run block full-time so if jack dorsey know how to grow twitter to being the biggest platform of all time i really believe that jack dorsey can take um his stock back his company back up to an old all-time high of around 283 dollars and 58 cents so i uh that ceo jack dorsey i'm a real big believer in him if he ever uh, took a step down i would probably sell my shares of square but but as long as he's the ceo of square the ceo of block i'm going to continue to dollar cost ever since to block and trade this on back up to the top all right let's do a quick run through the next couple i know i spent a lot of time on the first two the next one is coin ticker symbol c-o-i-n coinbase now this is coinbase coinbase has had revenue growth year after year after year there's not much data on them because they have not been public that long in fact they just broke below our buy line right here so we had a major support at around 220 dollars 212 dollars so it bounced once twice three times four times and then it finally broke below the below um, the $220 price points. So now this is a great buying opportunity for me. I do see it eventually recovering back to $220 and eventually hopefully one day back up to $348. Now coins, since they went public, they have had a 364% sales growth over the last year since the, that's the only data that we could see. That's not much data on coin, but um, Coinbase that like at the beginning of this video, they allow you to actually own your cryptocurrency on on Robinhood and Weibo. You can invest in two cryptocurrency, but if you don't own your own keys, that's not your own coins. And Coinbase is the uh, the easiest way to own your own cryptocurrency. Uh, so you own your but so you own your Bitcoin, you own your Ethereum, you own your private keys to that. So that is um, Coinbase. They finally went public. Uh, they went public, shot all the way up shot up again and started to pull back and i see it right now at a great buying opportunity once again there's not much data on it and if you used to get in right here and it recovers to let's say this zone right here this is a heavily supported zone um got knocked down once right here knocked down again and knocked down again so still if it comes all the way back up to around 280 dollars we could take profit at 50 percent there we go it's 49.7 percent so that is the third one took a symbol c-r-i-n coinbase the fourth one is ChargePoint CHPT. You guys know this is one of my favorite stocks. Let's go ahead and zoom out. This is the one day chart. Um, it pulled back to our buy zone. We've seen that it was in a downtrend for a while now, guys. It did not break above this downtrend right here. So we dropped the Fibonacci sequence. It did not break above this downtrend again right here. So we drew out uh, some downtrends lines once it crossed right here. Once again, I post all the technical analysis over in the Discord. So if you guys want to be a part of that, go ahead. But uh, we did have a buy zone of it in this area right here. Touch, 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 touch. So we was buying a lot of shares at around $18. And now it pulled back to our other buy zone of $13. So now it's time for us to load up more on ChargePoint. So remember, ChargePoint is the world's largest charging station company. So if you want to invest into oil and gas when combustion cars, combustion engine cars first came out, that would be like investing into ExxonMobil and Shell when it was worth 25 cents per share so investing to charge point while there are really not that many charging stations or while there are not that many electric vehicles on the road and as you guys can see the trend more electric vehicles are going to start to come onto the road very very soon investing into uh, the largest charging station at the moment which is charge point is going to be very beneficial to me so me picking up a couple of shares at 13 dollars is an awesome trade for me if you're a short term trader, um, I would pick up some at $13 and wait for it to probably bounce back to the uptrend, this downtrend line before it bounces back again. So if you guys want to get in at $13 or right around right here and it trade up to the downtrend line, that is a growth of 64%. Or if you want to go back up to this old resistant point of around this area right here, bounce, bounce, bounce right here, that is a growth of 109%. So once again, if you if you're a believer in charge point, that might be a good swing trade for you. So that is stock number four. So let me bring you stock five in stock five point five, which will be AMD. This is stock five. And the other one, which is point five, is NVIDIA. Tickets up with NVDA. 
And the reason that I pair these two, which is going to be total of 1.5 is because they're almost the same. I'm not going to say they're the same company, but, but they almost trade the exact same way when it comes to the stock market, because they both produce graphics cards and graphics cards is heavily needed when you're mining cryptocurrency. So this is Nvidia, but let's just take a quick look at AMD. I kind of like AMD a little bit more. They both pull all the way back to the 200 EMA line right now is looking like it's about to break below the downtrend support line. So we could see AMD pull all the way back to this green to this green zone right here or to where it broke out of this red pattern right here at around 100 ish dollars so amd is at 118 dollars at the recording of this video if it pulled back to 100 dollars, that is awesome but if you want to play this bounce right here off of the green ema line you could play the bounce but i'll wait until the after the earnings cost to see exactly how amd earnings is going to react on february 1st 2021 and a quick look at nvidia nvda the same thing is already bouncing it looks like it's already touching off the 200 ema that earnings is not for a while it broke the downtrend line so if it stay true above this line you guys could try to day trade it you guys can try to swing trade it back on up but if it breaks below i could see um nvidia pulling somewhere back to this area right in here so if it pulls back there cool perfect time to pick up more shares if it bounces back up then we'll wait for the macd and the rsi to start to point back up and wait to see what it's going to do after the earnings call so that is company five and company 0.5 which is amd and nvidia i count both of them as you know 1.5 so there you go, dreamers. That is my top 5.5 companies that I'm keeping a very, very close eye on. Remember, just investing into the stock market, just investing into these companies will generate you around 6% growth. Well, we kind of read the technical analysis. We kind of pay attention to the news. We look at the, the valuation of these companies. We look at the fundamentals of these companies. If we could get in at a great price and get 24% on some of these swing trades, 30% on some of these swing trades, and some of them got a risk to loss ratio of around 120 28%. If we could get some of those, at least two or three of those to just win, set a short stop loss of around 20%, then we will generate a lot of income over the next year or so just from being smart and investing into great companies that has a fair value right now while the market is pulling back. And we're just going to sit here and wait for the rebound of 2022. But if you have any questions, ask them down below in the comment section. If you have any other companies that you've been looking at, drop those down in the comment section. I want to see what companies that you think that are undervalued right now that we could go in and scoop up that I could probably talk about in the next video. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up button because it helps out this channel more than you could even imagine. And also you won't miss out on any future information. But if you guys wanna be a part of the great community, go ahead and join the Patreon. That link is down in the comment section. Um, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Webull by depositing any amount of money. It's free money guys, do not miss out on that opportunity. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.